What's happening guys, it's Brad, and this is a builder team round the end of era matter card. Crosses in objectives, man. I don't know about you guys, but they are the bane of my existence. Uh, fortunately, I, I got to extra time where I went a goal or two up and some guy kind of give up a little bit but didn't quit out and I managed to get three crosses done in one game. But other than that, it was a struggle. It was a struggle indeed. But... We have now got End of an Era Matter in the squad. We are doing a kind of past, present and future uh, video around him. So there'll be, I'll put, the, I'll put the stats up on the screen now. There'll be players from Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Yes, it does say, look at my cat there. I'm trying to get up outside to have a look what's going on. Um, yeah, Real Madrid is on there. So it definitely doesn't say Real Madrid anything else. It's Real Madrid. Okay, we've got Valencia. We've then got... Uh, Chelsea, we've got Man United, and then obviously we have got Spain as a nationality. So we're going to build a team around him. Let's go and have a look at the end of an era matter card, though, and have a look how good he looks. We're going to be playing some foot champs qualifications with him. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Please do smash a like on the video, comment down below if you've used this card, what you think of him, and if you've actually used the Cesc Fabregas card. Not sure I'll be able to do him as well. Kind of had enough of doing objectives for one day. Um, but let me know if you've done him and what you've got. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Please subscribe and all that good stuff. Okay, so here we are with the Cam Juan Mata. End of an era card. Now, he doesn't look like the best of cards, if I'm honest. A little bit behind the curve right now. Um, he's medium, medium. So as a Cam, I don't particularly like that. I'll probably try and see if I can play him at centre mid. Um, especially as well, given that his shooting stats and pace stats are a little bit off the pace right now. He's only got four-star skill moves and he has got a three-star weak foot. So he doesn't look the best. However, somehow, some of his stats are crazy. He has 99 attack positioning. He has 99 free kicks and curves. So you're going to want to put him on free kicks. His dribbling, agility is not great, but his balance is 99 as well. So hopefully he should feel good sort of in that turn of circle and then he has 99 jumping and 96 stamina which are big as well jumping i don't think you're going to have him jumping much at five foot seven if i'm honest um but yeah certainly the stamina plays a big part he should be able to go box to box right at the end of the game so we're probably going to stick him what is he right or left footed he is left footed so we're going to stick him on the right hand side and he'll be able to cut in on the left hand side but without any further delay, let's see the team that is going to be built around Juan Mata. Okay, so here we are with the full and um, final team that will be going around end of an era Juan Mata. So let me break it down for you. We will start up top. We have Fernando Torres, who was part of the squad for the Euro 2012 Spanish team when Mata was part of that team as well. And they won the euros we've also got ronaldo and bruno Fernandes. obviously they play together now at man united so obviously we couldn't do that yes i do have a lone striker ronaldo but one it's because i got him in the club and two i need the balance to spend on the rest of the players now you'll look at torres and now you'll look at xavi and you'll say why have you got prime icons in june it is again because i need the coins to spend on the rest of the team so we've got Prime icon, um, not moments, prime icon, Xavi in the centre mid. Again, part of that Euro Spain 2012 team. And then we've got, like I said, it is a past, present and future. We've got a future stars, Brian Gill from Valencia, where obviously Matt has spent some of his career there at left centre mid as well. We then go back to Jordi Albert, Puyol and Casillas, who are also again in that Euro 2012 Spain squad. We have got Mata, who was technically at Real Madrid. We have then got Varane, who was technically at Real Madrid, along with Mata. He was at Real Madrid. Ignore what I've crossed out. And also we've then got Azpilicueta, who's at Chelsea, obviously a former club for Juan Mata. And obviously Torres played at Chelsea during his career as well. Then we have, as we did in the last video, got some super subs ready to bring on. We have got flashback Pedro. So again, part of the Spain team, but also an ex-Chelsea player. We've then got a current Chelsea player in Timo Werner, 
These guys obviously didn't get to play with each other, but it is one of Matter's former clubs. And now his Road to the Knockouts card is actually only 180,000 coins. So really affordable, like to try it out. We'll probably bring him on for Ronaldo or Torres at some point during the game. And then we've got flashback Benzema, because obviously Benzema now plays at Real Madrid. But back in the day when Juan Mata played at Real Madrid means back in the day flashback let's flash back to it flashback benzema and he is there as a super sub as well so what we're going to do is we're going to get into a foot chance qualification game now last time we had an epic epic battle and i only did the one game if things go a little bit quicker this time around there may be one or two we'll then do a bit of a review on end of era matter see what he is like and give you a rundown of whether he's worth doing without any further delay let's just get into the games Right, so we are actually back the following day now. So basically, um, I can't really record in one sitting necessarily all the time at the moment. So we're back the following day and I have made a slight change. One, because my coins couldn't afford it. And two, uh, because Torres is really a little bit behind the curve now. And plus, I've got another striker on the bench to bring on as a sub anyway. So what I've done is I've just put RTTK Werner straight in at striker and after speaking to LCB last night on the FSB podcast, the Three for Tears podcast, go and check it out, links in the description, um, he quite rightly mentioned that Juan Mata has only 50 defending. So, to play him at centre mid isn't really the right thing to do. Really, he needs to play up top. So what I'm going to do uh, is increase his pace in shooting and he will be playing at cam and then Bruno Fernandes is going to be playing at centre mid. So let's not delay it anymore. Let's get into a game of foot champions qualifications and see how the team plays. Okay, not a bad team. I mean, he's got some team of the seasons in there, but Zola's probably even a little bit behind the pace now, I would say, in games. But hey, let's not judge yet. He could be a good player. We could be in trouble. If this isn't the epic game that the last one was, then we may play more than one. We'll see. I mean, what a goal. What a goal. What a lovely chip through ball from Mata and volley from Ronaldo. That is incredible. Oh, Mata, that is terrible. That is terrible. I think he is left-footed, to be fair, but that was absolutely awful. Point-blank range. I set him up enough there to be able to get a goal. He's let me down. And that was disgusting. That was just scrappy. At least he's there poaching, I suppose, but that wasn't nice. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had no choice. We take the red card. It's fine. Oh, well, a scrappy goal back says fair play. Fair play, good corner routine. But the thing that led up to that was an absolutely god-awful pass. I just tried to play it into the middle of uh, the park. And uh, oh, talk about god-awful passes. Yeah, I tried to play it in the middle of the park. And uh, for some reason, it felt like um, it was trying to pass it to my left back, who isn't there. Or right back, sorry, who isn't there, as we know, because I got him sent off. And um, again, I was picking out the wrong players. EA, your game is terrible. Please pick the right players when you're trying to pass. All right, so far we're at half time. Honours fairly even, in my opinion. I feel like maybe I'm a little bit more on top. Um, obviously, it says he's had more shots, but he hasn't had as much in the terms of the expected goals as I have. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just frustrating that passing is is bad again. What it did remind me of is why I got rid of 
or why I didn't like Werner and why I got rid of Ronaldo out of my team is because neither of them can pass a ball uh, as strikers. And I do like my strikers to be able to pass a ball. That's why I've got a flashback Neymar up front in my actual team. Um, but so far, Matt is getting in some good positions. He's not too bad at all. Um, unfortunately, Bruno Fernandes, Xavi and Brian Hill behind him are not so good. Um, and obviously we have lost Asby, uh, which was just a necessity. Uh, but let's see how the second half goes, see if we can get the win. Well, and there we go, straight away from kickoff. My well, matter turns up, gets a goal with his right foot this time from point blank range. Just a shame he missed the other one, otherwise we could be 4-2 up. And straight away, kickoff goal. Every single time I intercepted or tackled him there, the ball just went straight back to him. Nothing you can do about it. They do exist. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, you know when you put tackles in and you're not getting the ball back that there's pretty much a goal coming. What I will tell you was... That was a fantastic goal. Is that Juan Mata with his 99 jumping? That's what he's got it for. He may be five foot seven, but he can leap like a salmon. Well, we have a corner and we concede a goal from it because some reason my defenders are absolutely so far forward on the corner uh no idea why um i'd guess maybe as p would have been the one that had been back there and they've just um not compensated for that maybe but yeah who knows exposed is what they would say it's a lovely goal i tried to cut off every single pass and lane there but it didn't happen um every time it just kind of went through me or they just weren't in the right place quite so Good goal. Um, his in, the Insigne, the end of era Insigne, is causing me serious problems. Um, that looks like a card that anybody with a Serie A team should do, and you should definitely not use Bruno Fernandez. You can't pass a ball six yards. We'll take the second red. We had to. Well, it was he was all over us there for like a long time. We've got two defenders, which is my fault uh, from sliding in. But hey, I would have stopped two certain goals anyway. So it is what it is. We have taken a massive L there. I've kind of brought him out because I don't care anymore. Um, yeah, I don't like the team. Simply, it's nothing to do with Wamata. Matter. Wamata Matter has actually been really good. Uh, I just really don't like the team that I built around him. Uh, Werner is well off the pace and he still cannot pass a ball. Uh, he was getting out muscled by both of his centre backs. Uh, and as Cristiano Ronaldo's goal card obviously is off the pace as well, it's just because I had him in the club. But you can see Juan Mata with a rating of 10 with three goals and one assist from one game. Um, and that's a game that I had nine players by the end and got absolutely torn apart by his uh, Insigne. That end of era card looks good. And if I can afford to do that SPC, it may well be another one of these that I'll do on him uh, i'm not going to continue to play anymore because that game has me a little bit triggered plus i'll have to get rid of the red cards on uh aspie and on i don't know who it was varan maybe um so yeah there's no point in me going through and doing that didn't bring on my super subs but i didn't feel like it mattered um i feel like flashback benzema is probably behind the pace now so to have Werner in who is better than him also be off the pace it weren't going to be enough um and who was my other super sub it was Pedro. Yeah, and Pedro is definitely off the pace. Um, he might have been a good replacement for uh, Brian Hill, um, who as a card is just really, really poor. Um, very underwhelming. Um, but, you know, he was a future star promo. 
again it was quite some time ago so he is going to be off the pace so there's some players there that if you're going to build a team around Matt I probably wouldn't use or I'd certainly look to use the best versions you can of their cards around them uh, apart from Team Averna because that is the best one maybe if you got yourself a team of the season or team of the year Ronaldo um, or you've got some decent icons he would fit in quite nicely but even though he had a 10 rating, even though he was very good, he is still probably behind the pace of most cams in the game. And as you saw, he did miss one at point blank range with his weak foot. Four star, three stars, just not enough in today's market. But that has been a build my team around Juan Mata. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please smash a thumbs up if you have. Comment down below if you've used the card, what you think, and if you've used the Fabregas Insigne. We've now got Mark Noble as well. Let me know if you've used those cards, how you've gotten on with those. Please subscribe to the channel. It is a massive help. We are getting close. We want to get to 150 subs. So please, please consider doing that. And as always, I've been B-Rad. Thank you for tuning in.